want to learn how to make images zoom in on hover like this as well as go from grayscale to colored we'll stick around to the end of the video what you want to do is you want to add in a div and we're going to give this a class of section 100 viewport height and background color of grayish then we're going to add in our image container within this we're going to have three image blocks and within each image block we just want to add in an image then what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this container so i've got it three times don't worry about what's going on right now in fact before i do that let me put in what I like to call an image wrapper and we'll put all of our containers within this wrapper and give all of your containers a width of 30% section and be flex vertical center center and then for the image wrapper flex horizontal center and center align and for each of these images i think we can add some left and right padding or maybe just margin in fact one em like so brilliant now let me replace all of these images because i don't want them to all be the same and for our containers or our image blocks what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an animation and it's going to be mouse hover so when I start an animation I want to create essentially what I want to do is I want to apply an initial state of grey as well as an initial state of scale zero and then I'm going to scale it up and then I'm going to change switch it back to colored so I'm going to call this size scale and color and so the initial state is going to have size and filter so let's open width and set as initial state set as initial state so and this has to affect the class but it has to be only children with this class so it's not affecting all of the elements and it's only affecting its own so let's add the filter scale size of course no that's wrong i want scale not size scale with then of course just going to be one now i'm going to add another animation i'm going to call it filter and scale and then with then apply easing easing out and easing out and you want our duration to be 0.3 minutes, um, 0.3 seconds. Brilliant. Now, scale to 1.5. Go to add grey scale. And then we're going to go 0% so that there's no effect. Now, in terms of, you've seen how the the image went beyond the borders of our image container all we're going to do is apply overflow hidden so that when we go onto this see it doesn't escape its borders which is beautiful now what i want to do is apply an out animation proper out animation so i'm going to start an animation in fact, no, there's a quick way to do it. There's a quick way to do this. All you have to do is just duplicate this and then edit this and we'll just call this grey and scale down. And essentially, you just have to keep your initial states then remove them as initial states. Make sure this happens with the previous interaction and duration. Apply easing out this as well. Then save. And now we we'll go to view our image. Okay, see my 
web is lagging a little bit but there you go it works just like that and then now i'm gonna add it onto all of these classes Grace scale and color some animation gray and then i'm gonna add it to the final one um scale and color start an animation green scale down and i just want to check that's affecting the class so affecting the class children with the class brilliant so now okay yeah so scale and color should be affecting image block class web fit is lacking a little bit aha i know the problem i applied this to the image and not to the image block so make sure you apply it to the image block and not the image so scale and color gray and scale down image block mouse hover start animation start animation scale and cover scale and color gray scale down so now yep they're all going to be gray and when i hover on all of them they're all going to scale and color just like that so guys that's the full tutorial make sure to subscribe and follow or like for more i'll see you guys later